Hey everyone, this is Paul, and today I'm going to review Lexicon by Max Berry. If you have this book and you haven't read it yet, or if it's one of those books that is high on your TBR list, I would say go into this completely blind, because I thought it was a fantastic experience going into it completely blind. I actually recommend that, just because uh, Max Berry is able to show you this world in a way that really opens up uh, the imagination and you're guessing along with the book about what's going on and it's just a great experience for everyone else uh let's talk about it a little bit this is a thriller with speculative elements and there are two timelines here one timeline is with emily she is a street hustler and she's able to use her persuasive abilities to steal from people She's approached by this organization of individuals that are poets and they are uh, able to control, convince, and manipulate people using words, using linguistics. And it is magical, uh, it is speculative. Now she goes to this school and she just doesn't really belong there. She is an outlier and she's just really her own person and so there's a lot of tension between her and the people that run the school especially her one teacher Elliot now in the present timeline Elliot is with a man named Will and Elliot is trying to extract information from Will but the entire organization of poets are after Will and Elliot they want to kill them because they all believe that Will holds information, that he holds in his psyche a word that is more powerful than any other word and that can control and do devastation to large amounts of people. So it is two timelines that uh, gradually get closer and closer together and then they converge at the end. And it was just a lot of fun. I had so much fun reading this. Uh, each day I looked forward to reading more of it. Each day I was on the edge of my seat while reading this. It was just a lot of fun. It was a great thriller. I was constantly guessing what was gonna happen. Uh, I enjoyed learning about the world, the magic, the people. Uh, Emily is this really unlikable but also likable anti-hero character and there's not many women in books that are like anti-heroes that I really like and I really liked her and Will has this like I have no idea what's going on type plot but that's great because we get to learn about the world and people through his eyes the organization of poets uh, is very interesting they, they're just a lot of fun and I just I, I really appreciated Max Berry's writing here as far as being able to give us enough information and mystery uh, to make us continue to read. If you like Claire North, if you like her books, or if you like Blake Crouch's books, I think you would like this book. So I would recommend it to anyone that enjoys thrillers with a small speculative aspect. All right, I'll talk to you all next week. Um, thanks for watching.